it was just dumb because these guys were, were to celebrate something they did all year, and in the blink of a of a or a couple of blinks, I should say, and a couple of handshakes out there, all of a sudden the focus goes somewhere else. All because Odell Beckham wanted the camera out himself and wanted to do it and wanted to get the exposure for it. I don't know why. I don't know what good it did him for it. He's a great player who has all kind of notoriety as it is. Did he need this to put him over the top? And yet now, while it's not going to be the biggest stink in the world, why, why would you do that? And now the focus is off the national championship and going to be on this for at least a little while. Yeah, I was going to say, for a split second. Like, it's, yeah. it's thirsty. Like, it, it yeah. is – it's a situation, and it ignites. Like, and I saw all the posts going around yesterday about the bonus money that Ed Orgeron makes, the bonus money that Dabo Sweeney made over the course of these winning seasons. Sure. And I get it. Like, yes. We all understand that there are it. problems with the player compensation model. <clears throat> we would like those things to be better. That being said, Odell, those players, and everybody else knows how the game goes as currently constructed. Correct. And so when you do something like this, you do it eyes wide open. You do it for the reasons, like we said, it's a look at me thing. And I, I listen, I get it. As someone who did not win a national championship at their school, the thought of my team winning one, the team that I was a part of, I, you know, the school that I was a part of winning one, the way Odell was a part of that school, seeing your team win one, I bet is pretty exciting. And you kind of want to live in that moment and you're back there and you got money and these players like you because you were from there and you've succeeded in the NFL and you've got all this money. But there still has to be that understanding that this is their moment and not my moment, right. and sometimes oh, people get lost in that. That was not even a thought in Odell's mind. Let's be clear. He wanted to make sure, as you said, everybody knew that he was there and everybody knew what he was yeah, doing. Yeah. And you're taking away from their accomplishment when yeah, you, you are. do that. Yeah, you are. And as we're saying, we're talking about it just as you said, Mike, the coach is getting their bonuses. As I said, you want to go do it somewhere else and hand those dudes 100 oh, grand yeah. each? I, I don't care. I was going to say, no if you, issues whatsoever. If you, you really know. wanted to help them, you would have done that later yes. on when no one was around. Exactly that would have been awesome. Right. So, again, we have no issue with that. But doing it right out in front, and now you're taking the shine <laughs> off of what they did on the field. It's a shame. It's a shame Odell was just seeking the limelight for that. And, and listen, I, and to your point, I've heard people say, yeah, but what about this? Don't do the what about thing. No. Don't do the what about Because we don't care if Because a lot paid. of people that are saying this also say about other things, oh, don't do the what about thing. So let's not do the what about thing here. And you know what? It's not even like, again, when we talk about what's going to happen with this, like the, oh, the NCAA and the SEC no. are investigating it, at, <laughs> at worst, they'll give back a couple of hundred exactly dollars right. in this so, situation. Exactly right. Yeah, but see, that's the point. It, it, the, w the worst thing scenario is the thing that he did, they're going to have to give it back. Yeah, it, 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 I guess the, the whole point of it is, is like, is it the worst thing that's ever been done? No. no. My God, no. no. It's not even no. close. Is it really going to dull the shine of LSU's championship? No, it's not. It's just kind of lame. He knows exactly what he's the doing. The feds are literally watching. It, it, there were feds just, in the building. You know, it, it just wasn't necessary. Again, not the end of the world, and I'm sure everybody's saying, well, if it's not the end of the world, why are you guys bringing it up? Well, because, because it is Because they're everywhere. in trouble because now. It is everywhere, and it is being talked about, and the, and the team and the school now have to deal with the NCA. It was just unnecessary, and it was unnecessary for one reason, yeah. because one guy – wanted the spotlight on him, and that was a guy in Odell. What did, What have you always said as a teammate? Don't start a fire that I have to uh, put I mean, out. You and know that, what? that's exactly what he Hug did. Hug the guy, whisper in his ear, yeah. I got 10 Gs for yeah. you, you know, back at the hotel. Come cool, see me. Great. You're not paying for a damn thing tonight uh, yeah. or ever again. I mean, cool, but look, look, I just – it just made no sense. All just because yeah. you, you you know you want the camera. On Let you. let's be clear about one thing, so everyone understands our position. We are fine with what he wanted to do. Absolutely, the execution of the plan yeah. was terrible. Yeah, it was horrendous. And it is funny because we are talking about this like we met, like we mentioned what we talked about yesterday and what you mentioned leading into this is a far bigger challenge for LSU going forward and the fact that they have already lost the coach that was at the center of a lot of the success. The old world quarterback that did set all those cool records is gone. Seven underclassmen have declared Seven, for the yeah. draft. Like they are now immediately dealing with all of the air quotes problems that come with winning at this level. <laughs> like the rising tide lifts all ships thing as great. And Trey, you're a part of the draft every yeah. year. Like as good and as dedicated as everyone around the draft is to their jobs, 
they're not good enough to succumb to the thing that happens. When you see a team win, you automatically upgrade what you think of a certain player. I played with plenty of guys that because we were going seven and five, eight and four, stuff like that, were undrafted that would have absolutely been draft picks had they been on my 2012 team that went undefeated. Like would have absolutely been draft picks. But because we were on a bad team, scouts look at that and they they you can't always separate from context. There are a lot of people and there are some players that are outliers on that, but you also get upgraded when you are part of good teams. That's just the way it works. Correct. All of this is Straight Talk brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. Everything for less, only at Walmart. It does feel, though, right? Just like it's Thursday. They won it Monday, and it just feels like, wow, that's another another body blow for LSU. Yeah. I mean, I, I really hope they enjoy this thing because it does feel like ever since the clock ran out, it's been one thing after another. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.